Hello my lovely friends on YouTube, Clarissa here. I am back with another video and uh, I want to always start the video saying thank you very much for the comments in my last videos. I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you're doing okay, more than okay. I hope you're doing super good and staying healthy and uh, protecting yourself. And I know that this coronavirus it's a kind of a warning and kind of a way to help people to reflect their lives. Uh, we have to understand that we are mortals and uh, no even uh, the more potent army uh, could defeat this illness or, or the most advanced technology. Uh, people are dying uh, by the thousands and so I advise and I suggest not just for you for, and for myself uh, to humble ourselves and to stay in prayer and uh, so the Lord uh, God have compassion and uh, eventually he will help us with this to end this um, terrible coronavirus. And so I'm staying home here, having fun, um, trying different outfits. And uh, so I am doing like a little uh, fashion uh, in every video, in some of the videos, not every video. And so today uh, I will show you this outfit that I'm wearing and so stay to the end of the video okay my friends so let's start the video this is going to be about seven nutrients that will help to stop hurt loss and to help um, grow hair uh, I know it's very difficult uh, to grow hair healthy as we age we lose a lot of the nutrients and I cannot emphasize enough that it is very important to replace the nutrients that we lose uh, as we age. So the older we get, we lose the nutrients and we need to replace them. And so I'm going to talk about these different nutrients. So the first one will be protein. Protein is the building block for our hair and uh, skin. I have talked uh, numerous times about the importance of protein. So uh, check my videos. My last videos I had um, uh, put some emphasis about uh, protein and amino acids. Uh, the other nutrient uh, is an uh, iron. Iron is so super essential for hair growth. Um, lack of iron um, makes the hair really weak inhibits uh, the uh, hair growth uh, on and, and your scalp and like I said it makes your hair really weak the hair follicle very very uh, malnourished and so when you take iron uh, organic iron uh, I had explained a long time ago that uh, you will see your roots very very healthy comparing to the rest um, because you had introduced iron in your diet so remember inhibits hair growth if you're lacking iron and also uh, helps uh, to um, deliver it, uh, uh, nutrients into the blood uh, oxygenation into the blood when you take iron um, the other one it is vitamin C as you know vitamin C it's an awesome nutrient and I need to emphasize when it comes to vitamin C because I have have seen videos about people saying do not take vitamin C um, ascorbic acid but we have to know the difference uh, when it comes to ascorbic acid if this uh, pharmaceutical grade and derived from beets uh, that's the best way to take it and so uh, vitamin C uh, will help to absorb iron in your system 
as you know it's good for the immune system it is good for um, the collagen production and it's good for your hair skin and nails and there, there are many benefits of vitamin C and so I am just giving you uh, the basics here Another nutrient that I am going to talk about is uh, omega-3s. Uh, the omega-3 helps to maintain the hair glossy, uh, shiny, and also nourish the hair follicles. Um, another nutrient it is vitamin A. Vitamin A helps with every cell of your body. It helps with the growth of the cells of the body, replication of the cells, um, division of the cells, and uh, also um, vitamin A helps to nourish those hair follicles and it's a super antioxidant and vitamin A comes up from different sources and so for example if you are uh, not vegetarian uh, cut liver oil has a uh, good amount of vitamin A and uh, beta carotene uh, you could take it if you're vegetarian because it comes from carrots and uh, vitamin A is is one of the most beautiful vitamins to maintain the body really young uh, because it helps with the division of the cells the, the cell growth of your body and um, there is a doctor, uh, I don't remember uh, his name, but long time ago he made a video about the importance of vitamin A. So if you use products internally and externally that contains vitamin A, it is very uh, anti-aging, very rejuvenating. So uh, I take vitamin A every other day, not every day. Because if you take large amounts of vitamin A, it has some side effects. So uh, if you take it every other day or if you take it uh, three times a weekly, uh, 50,000 units uh, of the vitamin A, make sure it's the oil, the soft gel, not dry vitamin A. The soft gel that you will see the oil of the um, vitamin A inside the soft gel. Vitamin A uh, helps with the natural production of sebum, uh, which is required for hair growth. Uh, you know, balanced amounts of sebum, it's uh, very important for the health of your hair. Uh, now, biotin, we all know, uh, we don't take biotin, uh, produces hair loss, thinning hair. Uh, it's very important that you take at least 10,000 micrograms of a biotin uh, especially you being a mature woman i take 10,000 um, um, micrograms of biotin every day and uh and the last uh nutrient the last nutrient it is vitamin e vitamin e is a super antioxidant and it helps with the uh, ph balance of your scalp and also helps with hair growth. If you uh, mix um, oils that are good for hair growth, let's suppose, let's suppose rosemary, lavender, um, coconut oil, and then you mix it with at least uh, 10 uh, soft gels of vitamin A and apply it on your scalp, uh, it will help to nourish those hair follicles so you will have you know your hair growth uh, very much emphasized and your hair will become much better because you, it's receiving all those nutrients so girls when it comes to hair I am very obsessed um, I do my scalp treatments every night or uh, every morning if I don't have time at night time then I make sure as soon as I wake up, I will apply some kind of a solution or some kind of a mixture of different oils uh, to help nourish uh, those hair follicles. So that way you will maintain the hair nourished and it will reflect, you know, uh, the work that you're doing on your scalp and your hair. And so 
I do several treatments. Uh, I uh, have made videos in the past about all the hair masks that I use on my hair but today I'm just going to uh, sh you know show you uh, two uh, treatments that I use uh, on my scalp and uh, as um, uh, when it comes to hair oils uh, rosemary oil it's very good sage oil is very good olive oil grapeseed oil uh, coconut oil um, and always mix with vitamin E always mix because it will help uh, with the hair growth and, pre and prevent uh, uh, losing hair and um, this uh, is nioxin this one here uh, scalp and hair treatment uh, it's for color hair uh, progress thinning the reason I um, buy products that are aiming same thinning hair is because we are mature I am my hair is not thinning but I like to have more potent solutions just to maintain my hair nourish and avoid uh, losing hair and uh, this is a very good formula because it has uh, protein it has uh, all the botanicals and it has um, uh, let me see here. Uh, it has the uh, amino acids and it has also caffeine to stimulate blood circulation and your scalp. And oh, let me show you the container. Uh, this is Naxin Scalp Hair Treatment, uh, color safe. Um, uh, I have used this like for probably two years uh, and I'm very happy with this. Actually, it's now Naxin number four. So uh, if you go to the store, find the number four, which is, I think, the strongest one. Um, now, this uh, I have used it for uh, two months. Um, two months, this is my second um, container. And what it says is extremely thin. You see, I concentrate in products that say extremely thin, even though my hair is not thinning. But it will, you know, prevent. It will uh, help uh, to maintain the hair follicle strong, stronger. And uh, it comes in this blue container. And uh, I bought it at Sally's. It's called the Nutri-Ox 3C. Uh, treatment extremely thin normal chemically uh, treated hair um, so so far I like the results it tingles uh, a little bit your scalp at first until you get used to it um, the ingredient that this formula has is Panax ginseng Panax ginseng it's a very good uh, anti-aging and rejuvenating herb that will help I would say root that will help with the oxygenation of your scalp. It will help uh, to uh, circulate better uh, the blood in your scalp. So lack of circulation and oxygenation, it will cause the hair to lose. It will cause the follicle of your hair to be weak. And so that is very important. Keep in mind that to be able to have good hair, you have to have good circulation and clean scalp um, because too much seven uh, will plug the pores of your scalp and cause uh, you know your hair to um, to lose and you don't want to do that because uh, that that seven gets accumulated and then what is doing it's causing the hair follicle to be really weak because it has not, he can't breathe. And uh, then the uh, uh, circulation and the oxygenation gets compromised. So keep in mind that because uh, there are advices out there that don't wash your hair for a whole week or two weeks. Uh, to wash the hair every other day, I think is the most healthy. Um, to maintain those uh, uh, pores uh, really healthy and that way they're able to breathe and whatever you put in your scalp like oils and solutions 
uh, it will be able to enter and absorb to nourish uh, the hair follicle. So um, my girls, uh, this is the video for today. And um, uh, what else do I need to say? I, I, I think this is it. And uh, stay tuned for the fashion, okay? The fashion of the day, I'm calling it. And uh, you, you girls, um, stay active in your home. Don't walk around with your pajamas. Uh, you know, get motivated uh, to, uh, to, to dress and take photos and uh, reinvent yourself, um, get inspired and because that is healthy for your mind, you know. Of course, all the things are healthy, not just that, but um, just don't stay with the pajamas. Uh, do something. Uh, you have to uh, work out. Remember, you have to work out. Uh, I know everybody is staying home now, but you know that the tendency of the human being is just to stay home and watch movies and sit there and eat. No, don't do that to yourself. That's uh, so unhealthy for the body and the mind. Okay, my friends, I have the next video coming, the um, issue about belly fat for, for women over 50. Uh, women over 50 that um, uh, have the tendency to accumulate body fat in the center of the body. And so stay tuned, I'm going to give you the details and the information. Don't forget to subscribe, bye-bye share this video and uh thumbs up for the video my friends celebrate life okay celebrate life life is beautiful ciao bye, -bye.